So your toddler bit you, or they bite at daycare, or you notice that they're biting furniture and toys, you've heard that this is normal and that a quarter of all toddlers bite, but this seems above and beyond normal. You feel like you have to be constantly alert and stressed out during playdates, and you feel so embarrassed when you arrive at daycare to pick up your kid and the daycare teacher gives you that same exasperated look. Today we are diving into five possible reasons for toddler biting and what you can do to better support your toddler. Don't let toddler biting become a daily battle. Make an action plan for your toddler's biting before the end of this video. Hey, welcome back. My name is Holly. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and mum to two adorable toddlers. My channel is about all things early childhood development for one to three year olds. Because when it comes to toddler development, what you do, mama, matters. But before we get started, I want to say that I have been in your shoes. I understand how challenging it can be as a mom to feel like you have no control over your toddler's behavior and biting. To not understand how your sweet baby suddenly turned into a T-Rex. To feel so triggered by their behavior and to not understand in how in such a short space of time of parenting you could have gone so wrong and to have that feeling of being helpless to stopping their biting. If you only remember one thing from this video today, let it be that this is not your fault. You are not failing as a parent. Biting is an expression of a need and today we are going to be investigating what that need could be and how we can fill it. Is your toddler biting because they are teething? You might notice that when your toddler bites, it seems to come with some expression of pain, that they're just trying to bite on one side or a certain part of their mouth, or that they've been a little bit more fussy when it comes to food in the last couple of days or week. That points more towards that they are teething, and that's why they're biting. So ways to help them along here would be cold cloths, teething toys, teething gels, and it's also important to name for them why they're biting. Oh, you bit because your teeth are hurting. Is your toddler also high energy? They seem to be always moving or jumping or spinning. You notice that they like to fall or crash into things. That would point more towards a sensory explanation for their biting. They are possibly dysregulated or they are proprioceptive seeker. I strongly suggest that you seek the support of an occupational therapist. I offer distance coaching. An occupational therapist can help you brainstorm around the environmental triggers for the sensory behavior, as well as provide you with a sensory diet, which is basically how to include more of the right sensations, the sensory experiences that calm your child into their everyday life. And they can also offer you direct sensory integration treatment. If you are interested in distance coaching, you can find the link for my coaching page below. Is your toddler also eating non-food items or chewing furniture? This would point more towards a nutrient deficiency like a lack of iron or pica. If it's been happening for at least a month, I would recommend that you seek the support of your pediatrician. And just as a tip, it would be great if you could take along some photos or concrete examples of things that your toddler has been eating, just so your pediatrician knows the whole picture. Is your toddler, apart from biting, also putting everything into their mouth and maybe even licking things? This would point more towards an oral fixation or oral sensory seeking. So basically it means that your toddler is trying to get some kind of sensory input that their body is craving and they're doing that specifically through their mouth. Now we know that babies learn through putting things in their mouth. So this specifically would be in a toddler that's say above aged 18 months um, when we normally in normal toddler development we see around 18 months that they stop putting everything into their mouths. Some of the ways that you could support your toddler if this is the issue that you're seeing, are by giving them chewy toys, by doing some oral motor activities like blowing or um, eating crunchy foods or drinking from a, a resistive sack bottle, or ideally seeking the support of an occupational therapist or a speech therapist. 
Now, again, if you're interested in coaching, my link is below. When is your toddler biting? Could this possibly be an expression of emotion? Maybe they're feeling frustrated, overexcited, stressed, angry. Some of the ways that we can support our toddlers when this is an emotional expression is by firstly preventing it, um, changing up their environment, maybe making sure that their emotional buckets are full by shared laughter. We can also try and stop the behavior physically and redirect them to another activity, as well as working on emotional intelligence and social skills. So I just want to point out that none of these reasons for toddler biting are that you are not a good enough mom or that your toddler is just a bad kid. And honestly, don't we all need reminding of that when raising toddlers? So I want to hear which one of these fits best for your toddler and what is your plan of action? In this next video, we are going to be diving into 10 lesser known sensory issues for toddlers, understanding better some of those quirky behaviors that we see in our toddlers.